Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Medieval Town on our town of Black Rock. In this episode, we'll be going ahead and continuing work on the city with building a slaughterhouse slash butcher. Now unfortunately, the footage for building the butcher has somehow disappeared from my PC. Who knows how I rendered it last night, came on here to edit the video, and the footage is gone. I have honestly no idea where it went, and I've spent the past... 20 minutes trying to find it so unfortunately we do not have the footage of the um the uh, butcher's kind of residence actually being built up but uh you will be able to see at least the slaughterhouse now um you know in the slaughterhouse really well done um the interior was built by hill kaiser he did an absolutely fantastic job on the interior and we'll be taking a look at it at that little uh showcase video on the end after this time lapse and then the butcher's house also overall i really do love this area i think this is probably the more kind of beautiful part of the town so far and uh, you kind of start to see the kind of rural kind of countryside uh, start to come into play with uh, what we end up doing here with the roofs and stuff kind of breaking it up a little bit uh, but anyways I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the time lapse and I'll see you guys shortly to see the uh, finished product and take a nice walk through and see what's all built in this episode anyways uh, enjoy the rest of the time lapse and I'll see you guys shortly So uh, the time lapse is over and in the time lapse you saw the butcher's house and also the slaughterhouse get built up and I must say that these two builds came out really awesome and just the whole area in general surrounding this um, butcher and also the slaughterhouse it's really going to it's going to look really cool and I'm um, you know in the time lapse it looks good but uh, once you see the final product of a lot of the stuff here you're going to really you know love it overall. Now, um, the butcher's house does not have interior yet. I'm hoping by episode five or six, I start to have some interiors I can kind of show you guys along with what we build in uh, whatever episode. So I'm really hoping to get some interiors built, um, hopefully very soon, uh, basically getting the interiors uh, set up a little bit because I do want to have interiors on some buildings. I, I probably won't do all buildings, but like specialty buildings like butchers and blacksmiths and stuff like that, I think definitely deserve to have some kind of an interior in them just to kind of create a cool look for uh the town of uh, black rock uh but anyways uh we're gonna go ahead and dive into taking a look at what we do have to show you guys here and i think you guys will not be disappointed starting off with we have obviously the butcher's house now i thought that it would be a really good idea to have the pasture slaughterhouse and all that stuff connected really close to the to the uh, butcher itself so obviously the butcher probably employs maybe a few peasants to maintain his um, you know stock of animals and all that stuff, and also with such a good stock and basically the town one of the town's main meat suppliers, they're definitely going to be a bit of a wealthier um, merchant. And as you can see, they have a nicer house and living in obviously the nicer kind of downtown uh, area of the map. And also their proximity to the port and all that stuff makes it real easy for you know, newcomers or whatever to grab meat and animal products and all that stuff from this butcher. Uh, but anyways, going ahead and diving into the butcher's kind of market front. Um, I do want to have a interior for the bottom floor of a store as well for the butcher. So maybe a little bit of a backstop or maybe or like a freezer uh, where he freezes, has the meat and all that stuff. And I do have a pretty cool idea about how to do that. Um, but yeah, that would be pretty cool. And I also uh, wanted to put a little bit of a market storefront out here just so that you can kind of tell more that it's a butcher, but also the fact that it makes sense, you know, maybe his kids or something like that run this, you know, little market stall at the front here uh, where they can sell, you know, 
meat and all that stuff to pastor buyers and then maybe for more animal products or more bigger pieces of meat they can go in and go into the actual shop itself uh, but yeah so really cool little storefront here uh using a cool technique where if you put meat on the campfire you can basically you know extinguish the fire the meat actually stays on there so it creates a cool little uh, look as if there's this meat sitting on these uh, kind of display racks I guess you can say and so it looks really cool and looks really nice if we come over to the side of the building there is a chicken coop built on the side of the building um, so you know obviously for uh, some chickens and stuff like that and so we have some eggs that they collect and they also do butcher the chickens so they have the log right here the chopping block where they would chop the head off the chicken to kill it and to basically end up selling it um, so yeah, that right there is pretty much the butcher's house as in its current state, and um, definitely love the area for it, uh, basically around it. Now with the butcher, uh, we have obviously the pastures here for the animals' fields. In the backyard here, the butcher, it's not fully done yet, um, probably uh, try to put something back here a little bit nicer or whatever, kind of break up a little bit of like the gardens and maybe put like a little uh, patio or something type deal on the back here, but yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I still have to do that. And, actually kind of forgot about that backyard there uh, but anyways uh, going ahead and going up here we have the cow pasture so real simple some trees uh, just a uh, you know simple pasture as you can see some dirt you know cows tromping around and you know breaking up the ground and since we're, we're up in like a kind of you know very foresty and you know green lush area obviously there's a lot of rainfall so probably a lot of mud and all that stuff in the cows in this area but yeah so it's pretty cool uh, trees and all that stuff detailing around the walls it looks really nice and then we have the little uh, kind of overhang here where all the hay is kept um, for the cows so it keeps out of the rain as best as it can and doesn't get completely destroyed um, also uh, with this area we're starting to kind of get more into like the poor rural areas and basically this right here being the um, you know basically basically these more kind of thatch and just you know kind of not really nicer roofs, just, you know, kind of cruddier, uh, kind of more poor roofs and stuff like that. As these buildings don't really have that much importance, uh, but also along with that, um, you know, it just adds kind of a good overall kind of, you know, poor vibe to it and kind of more rural, rural which is what I'm going for up here in this, uh, in the hills here. Uh, but yeah, so uh, by this, we also have the pigsty, or the pigs pin so we have you know some troughs here and obviously the pigs up in this area as well uh, overall you know nice looking design we also have these kind of doors here uh, which are you know were cool they're made by uh, Hill Kaiser did a cool job and they're kind of a cool uh, looking design there for actual doors um, kind of a good design overall now this right here is where we get into the slaughterhouse so slaughterhouse we have some pins here of cows ready to basically be uh, you know butchered uh, so, you know, feels bad for those cows, but then, you know, it is part of the town. Uh, we do have some meat hanging out to dry or uh, to kind of drain um, of the blood and all that stuff. I know, pretty Cory, if you guys are kind of squeamish when it comes to this kind of stuff, you may want to, uh, you know, get off this video because uh, the interior here is really crazy. Um, I actually had Hill Kaiser make this interior and he did one hell of a job on it, but it definitely is a little. Maybe a little too much for some people, uh, but anyways going ahead and going in here. We have the actual slaughterhouse itself So obviously various different methods of you know get, get killing the animal and then being able to butcher it uh, So that they can get the meat from it obviously and you can see here We also have the hides and these hides are actually really crazy um, when Kaiser showed me these uh, These you know hides I really love the idea and gives me more ideas to make like a tanner and um, all that stuff so definitely a really cool uh, design here for the banners and just an overall really nice look to the slaughterhouse and it's pretty gross in there honestly it makes me a little like ugh. <laughs> I really don't want to go in there so it definitely does its job um, but yeah that pretty much overall really covers the slaughterhouse area and basically everything there is for this uh, area so far and you know I must say it's really coming together uh, the slaughterhouse area definitely looks absolutely awesome and um, I can't wait to continue building and building some more stuff. I think our next episode will be focusing in on this farmhouse here. Uh, unfortunately, the footage, uh, looking back on it, because, you know, basically recording this, out, or I built this farmhouse, uh, obviously, a little bit later on. And 
building ahead and all that stuff and the footage um, didn't actually record for building this so far so I might build a, another one of these grain silos or something like that and maybe a windmill or something and the fuel and stuff and maybe that'll be that what we'll, we'll do for the next episode but yeah so definitely really cool stuff so far uh, loving, the, loving the town loving the city loving the environment and you know just looking at this view like it just it just looks so good just the overall scenery and like you know especially looking at it from a distance or whatever you see the fields you see the pastures and all that stuff and that's really the goal for this whole hillside here is to have these little farms and and you know pastures and stuff like that to really kind of create a overall really nice design anyways that right there is going to basically finish off uh this uh episode uh, of let's build black rock medieval town it's really come together and i really do appreciate all you guys support on the series i'm glad that a lot of you guys are enjoying it and excited that i am back in building medieval so far i've really been enjoying it and it's been really fun to kind of explore medieval and kind of a break up from doing, you know, the standard kind of, you know, basically the norm of what I was building for a very long time, the past few years of military vehicles and all that stuff. And as you can see, walking in the foreground here is undetectable and all that stuff. He's been helping out a lot on the server. So anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you have any ideas to add to the town or anything like that, any uh, feedback, anything like that, be sure to leave that down in the uh, comment section below. And other than that, that's it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This video is to it for, and I'll see you guys next time.